Welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. What? That's the wrong game. Welcome back to our F1 2019 career mode with Ferrari. This is season three, race number two. So if you've been living under a rock, you may have missed that I have officially swapped teams in our F1 career mode. We've gone from the fastest car to one of the slowest cars because we like chasing the money. This is the Bahrain Grand Prix. Let's go out on the circuit for qualifying. So welcome to Bahrain for race number two under the lights. I love this circuit, let's go. I gotta cross fingers and hope this Ferrari can do some good stuff today. Anyways, I looked at the upgrade tree between episodes and I actually noticed that Ferrari, for whatever reason, haven't done basically any engine upgrades. So we are super, super slow in a straight line. I can't understand the mentality. So we're gonna get eaten alive on both the back straight and the main straight on this circuit and it doesn't help when I'm all over the circuit like I am right now. Kimmy though, those Williams have done an incredible job of upgrading their car through season two. And I think we could see them start to win some races and really take the charge over McLaren, we'll have to see. Not a terrible first go around, but we go P3 for the moment behind our teammate. So, okay, maybe maybe not the worst start ever, but we should at least be beating our teammate. Since that wasn't the best lap, let's get some new tires on immediately and we'll skip to the end of qualifying and we will bang out our next lap with no talking and hopefully we won't run into what, like five or six cars crashed out in qualifying so we'll see what happens well it's really really not looking good out here usually you're supposed to do better on your second lap but that is not the case hopefully oh no at least i'm not last but come on oh and look just what i was saying it is a williams one two the mclaren boys already without me are struggling Loser, but at least at least I'm not the slowest Canadian. Maybe people have penalties. We'll see so under the lights at Bahrain Hopefully we can do well here today. I'm not that happy starting in 19th position I just I couldn't get a good lap underneath me. Anyways, let's see it is a one-two For the Williams boys. I guarantee if you told me that at season one I would say nah it is a 3-4 for the McLaren squad. Max Verstappen in fifth place. Watch for him to do some damage. He is very, very angry this season, as we've already found out. A lot of the a lot of the Red Bull guys not having a very good run. No penalties, though. We are starting 18th and 19th for Ferrari. This is not good. So, race strategy for today. We are outside the top 10. Yes, so we can start on any tires we want, which will be those mediums. And then we will jump onto the hards on lap 13. I love it. I love it when we got a strategy like that. Hopefully, with that type of strategy, maybe this will be a good race. Cross fingers. All right, time to rock and roll. Lean revs, second race for the new team. Clutches in, rev it up. And away we go for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Our teammate was very, very slow off the line. Lance Stroll, also slow off the line. We are going to hold P19, get on the brakes early. Maybe we sneak it up the outside. Our teammate going up the inside. It is a nice double move for Ferrari. We bite the corner there a little bit. But I jump up to P18. Nico Hulkenberg is the big loser. Nicely done. To Carlos Sainz and I, we go up the inside of our teammate. Yikes. The car is okay, but my ego is badly hurt after that one. Okay, let's watch out. Like I said, though, we're gonna need to watch out on the straights because that is where our car really, really struggles. We know Nico Hulkenberg behind, he's got his big thousand horsepower engine he may very well go for a colossal dive bomb up here but is this this is already gonna be the end of lap number one Kimi Raikkonen leads the pack away after one we'll see if Nico Hulkenberg can close in I'm kind of too far behind my teammate to really do something Nico can't close in very much but I'm gonna be able to get on the brakes very very late close right the way back in Nicely done. You know what I'm starting to think as we come to the end of lap number two? I think I'm a little bit slow around this circuit because the pack is running away from me. This is really, really not good news. DRS is officially enabled and we are already out of that second gap behind our teammate. That is not good at all right now. Oh, I've just noticed something actually. 
My teammate's on the softs. Oh, Nico's gonna try to go for one. Unleash those thousand horses up the inside. We will try to stick with him. Maybe he'll be our tow guy. He's also running those softs though. So is everybody else in this Grand Prix making a two pit stop strategy? That, that seems strange to me. However, it is time to unleash our Ferrari big boy engine close right in on the back of him. Lance Stroll gonna follow us through Nico Hulkenberg. Drops down to last, Lance looks up the inside. We leave him pre plenty of room, but that switches back to the inside. We formula drifted. Yo, Lance isn't done though. He's gonna come flying up the inside. Locks it up in the Sauber. Oh man, if I, bud, leave me room. What happened to the Canadian in you? What are you doing? Buddy, come on. <laughs> He's still there. Keep going, keep going, outside line. Jesus Christ, man. My main issue right now is I don't know when these soft compound tires are gonna start to give up. I hope it's soon though, because we're gonna run into this issue every single lap for right now. There goes Stroll, there goes Nico. We drop down to last position. Ooh, Nico. Tried to run Stroll out of road. I don't think he knew that I was there. I, however, now get DRS. Lance is going to be the one who's a sitting duck. I don't have the horsepower to catch up in a straight line. Man, this is so annoying. How is there this good of a race for, for 18th position? I'm just going to say, you guys have absolutely no chill. No chill whatsoever. I'm in last. Man, remember when Ferrari was actually good and, like... I can't compete. I've got TRS and I can't even catch up. Oh, this car needs so much work. I will say, actually, like I said before, we were getting a bunch of resource points and stuff. Well, between episodes, I've already started work on a brand new engine part, which will hopefully at least make up for some of this. Lance gets past Nico. We, meanwhile, still stuck behind. Oh, and look, now. Now we've both got DRS. Can we swing one on Nico? No, nope, we don't have the power for that. We do go late on the brakes though. Nico bounces off the curb, nearly pushes us wide. We're drag racing with the men. Wheel to wheel, we are gonna make that one stick. I think we're better through the corners than those Renaults, even with the soft tire advantage. Yeah, I think this whole make Ferrari great again thing is gonna need a hella lot of work. Anyways, these guys should be going into the pits fairly soon, so We'll see what happens when they do and who else goes in. Oh, there you go. Some of the people are finally going in. Nico jumped in behind us. We jump up to P17 and some of the guys have now opted for hard compound tires. What? That means they're doing a one pit stop strategy. How can they get away with that? Why did the game tell me to do mediums and then hards? What? Yo, like the game wanted me to come in on lap 13. Look at my tire wear. It's just fine. Okay, we got to remember this is this is just one of the problems with jumping over to a new team. We don't know how the tires react. I assumed that the team knew what they were talking about, but apparently not. Anyways, let's just keep going until we need to make our pit stop. I, I don't know when that's going to be because the game lies to me. Okay, so update. It's now lap 14 and the guys in front of me and as well behind me have both made some pit stops and they are now on some very, very quick tires and I'm getting eaten alive out here. However, I'm still setting green lap times, which is actually really, really nice. I was thinking of going in this lap, but that just popped up. So now I'm starting to rethink my plan. Anyways, I'm not gonna waste my time battling against people like Weber and Lewis Hamilton when our car is just in theory so much slower. It's just not worth it to waste time battling against people who I'm not really racing against. So let's go into the pits. Let's get our hard tire compound. There's a there's a Red Bull all the way up in front of me who's actually just made a pit stop. And away we go. 2.0 second stop. That ain't bad, but let's see where we come out. It's going to look like it is P19. Are we really about to rejoin this race in P19? Oh, no way. No way. We're going to be racing Nico as we come out of the pits. There he goes. I am back to last position. Great. He's on some hard compound tires as well now. However, mine are considerably fresher than his. So let's put a couple of good laps into the Ferrari and see where we stand in a little bit. Oh, yellow flag in front. Yellow flag. I don't think I'll be in last. 
No way! My prayers have been answered! Sergio Perez is out of the Grand Prix. Goodbye, Pink Panther. I mean, technically, yes, we are still in last place, but it's P19, which looks better on the stats. I mean, hey, technically, if, if, if three other people crash out in this race, I will get the team goal. That's not a bad thing. Okay, here we go. So it's now lap number 19. We have finally figured out how to put some good laps into this car. We are full green on that lap. Let's go send it on Nico Hulkenberg. Maybe this lap is not the best one. Oh my God. Bud, get out the way. Oh, there's another yellow flag I can see in the very, very corner of my screen. Max Verstappen is out of this Grand Prix. That will move us up to P18. If we can get Nico, that'll be P17. Yo, we could actually potentially make the team very happy here with a very poor result. Can I just say, look at what a difference no talking does over the course of a lap. We close into Nico. We've been catching up to him the entire course of that lap. Look at that. Full green. I love it. Close on in. Close on in. Close on in. Send it to the outside. Hard on the brakes. Leave him room. He's going to bounce off the curb. We're going to go happily, safely round the outside. Goodbye, Nico. You see the problem? I've got DRS, and this man is still faster than me. Like I said, our Ferrari needs so much work. If, if I can pass Nico, I'll have a good day, but it's not gonna happen if I get understeer like that. So update, it's currently lap 27, and I've noticed a slight thing that's been going on while I've been recharging the car up. The Alfa Romeo up in front, for some reason, has been slowing down massively. When I say massively, it's not even funny how much they've been slowing down. If I can actually get Hulkenberg, maybe this lap, Maybe that alpha's not out the question. We're using up our rich revs. Come on, Ferrari. Gaining on the Renault. We're going to send it round the outside. There we go. Nicely done. He actually swung wide and he hit our rear tire there. But we are away. It is Lance Stroll up in front. He is 3.2 seconds. There are two laps to go. If he really is having as big of a problem as it looks like, maybe, just maybe, we can actually get him. We've got rich revs until the end of the race. Come on, Ferrari. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to catch up to the Alpha. He's just that little bit too... Okay, never mind. He's a lot a bit too far. I, I shaved off 0.1 seconds. Well, if we're not going to catch up to Lance, we will turn the car back down to standard revs. Save up some fuel. Charles Leclerc goes across the line in first place for the McLaren squad. Nicely done, Leclerc. The fireworks are in the air. Let's make sure we get this thing home in front of that Renault. The only, only good thing about this entire race is that next race, we've actually got a brand new part coming onto the car, which should hopefully make this a little bit less painful. We're going to bring it home in 17th place for the Ferrari boys. I'm, I'm not that happy about it. I mean, we were one point off our team goal, but we were just way... Way too slow today. No way. It's a McLaren 1-2. They continue it from the last season. However, it is Leclerc on the top spot being followed up by Kimi Raikkonen in third. That ain't bad. Good job, boys. Yo, no way. Our teammate Carlos Sainz finishing in 13th. So maybe it was just me. Maybe the car wasn't too bad, but... I'm, I'm gonna blame it on the car. The car was way too slow. Yeah, Kevin Magnussen also with a pretty awesome race, going from ninth up to fourth. Ooh. And then Danny Rick, honestly, the big loser today, starting in second, drops all the way down to P10. That really sucks. So standings-wise, everything is all over the place. Sebastian Vettel leading the charge, though. We still do not have a point for the Ferrari boys. Oh, man, it's, it's a rough season. Anyways, that's where I'm going to wrap this up for today. Like I said, next episode, we have some new upgrades coming, which hopefully will make us quite a bit faster. Until then, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you like this F1 series, and I will see you guys soon with some more of it. I'll see you guys then. Bye! <laughs>